Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got a little video today, we've got a hover effect, we've got an image here. When we hover over it, we're going to have a little button roll in. Then when we roll off, it's going to disappear out again. Really easy to do, there's no coding involved in this today. We're doing it all with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. OK, and the way this actually works, guys, I've got a section up here, a blue tab with a row in it, the green tab, and a module, dark tab. If you've seen my video to text hover videos before, you'll know how this works. The actual image that we're looking at resides in the column of the row and the button itself is a module that we've got on top of it. So let's add a module first, a little dark button to add a module. I'm not going to use a button because I want to actually use the padding and spacing so I'm actually going to use a call to action without the text. So I'm going to pop a call to action in there. There it is. Personally I don't want any text. If you want text to roll in with it just leave your text up here or put your text in here. This is a regular text field down here. You can do all the normal things with it. Align, left, right, center, bold, italicize, add media, set headings and stuff. But I'm going to leave mine empty because I just want the actual button. But what you want your button to say right there. OK. And we can't see a button up there. A button actually won't turn up until you put a link for it in down below in the link. We're still on the content tab up the top here. Just put your button link in there where you want to take your people. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. If you want the whole module to link to somewhere, not just the button, you can put another link in here. You can have the same link or a different link. Same best practices apply. Okay, background wise, for the time being, I'm going to put a black in there. I'm going to take the opacity down by clicking on the dark field or the black field, putting this right hand slider down. Because when I put an image behind, I want to be able to see it. But I want to see the size of our column too. All right, so we've got our button in place there. Now we need to put the actual image in that we want to see initially. And as I mentioned earlier, if we just save this, we go into the row, the green tab. We've got two columns. We're working on column two, column one, column two right here. I'm going to go into this column. I'm going to put a background image in here. And you've got color, gradient, image, video, You've got background patterns and you've got background masks, two features they've just added to Divi and they're pretty awesome. So let's add an image today for mine. Find it, whatever image you want. Let's just grab that one right there. As you can see, it's popped that image in the background. We've got a bit of a color on our module there that's darkening it down slightly. Okay, what I want to do is make this the same size as our other one. And also, what we're going to do, we're going to slide this button all the way over here so it's out of the way. Then when we hover over, it's going to come in from the left. Or you could do this from the right, top or bottom if you preferred. But we're going to do it from the left here. So to make sure we can't see it when we flow over here, when we push it over to the left there. Still in the column settings, row and column, I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to go to visibility. I'm going to change my horizontal and vertical overflow to hidden. I know we're not doing vertical today, but if we don't change that to hidden, you'll end up with a scroll bar somewhere, and you don't want that. OK, so we're good to go with our column now. We've hidden everything that we want to push outside of it when we push it outside in a minute, and we've got our image. Save the column settings, save the row settings. Let's go back into our little module now. I'm going to make it the height that I want it. I know this was 300, so I'm going to make this one 300 also. So to do that, let's go to our design. We'll go to sizing. Here's height. Here's the 300. There we go. Just put in the 300. It'll put the pixels in for you. Of course, if you want to do percentage or viewable height, VH, 
just write your percentage sign in there or the VH in there great well that works but I want my button sort of more in the middle there so let's close down our sizing let's go to spacing I'm going to give it a bit of padding on the top say 120 yeah that's going to work for me you'll find when we save it it's going to just move up slightly so you might need to readjust it so that works for where I want it and I might want to darken that background out a little bit more when we hover over it but we'll do that in a minute so now we're in our spacing let's pull it all the way over here I'm guessing that's about 500 pixels maybe a bit more so I'm going to put some negative margin on the left hand side and if I put negative it'll pull it to the left if I put positive margin in it'll push it to the right so I want to pull it to the left so I'm going to put negative let's try 500 and see what happens to that button yeah it sort of pulled it over there and now I'll need to offset it by putting 500 pixels of padding on the right to push that button out of the way so we'll put positive 500 pixels on the right yeah that's disappeared fine but what we want to do we want to have that over there on regular state so we can see the whole of the image then when we hover over it we want to bring it back so on both these states and this is common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing you'll see some icons appear go to the one you want to affect margin in this case hit the little arrow if there is one if there's an arrow we can set a desktop state which is that's how it is at the moment we want it to be out of the way 500 left when they hover over it we want it to bring it all the way back so let's set that to zero and let's take away that padding on the left as well remember we need to go to the hover state for this we don't want it happening on the regular state so we want to be a hover state on this we'll bring this back to zero that looks a little bit over to the right hand side let's maybe give it 50 and see where that takes it yeah that's about right obviously you position yours just exactly where you want it okay and when we're not hovering over it it's going to be out of the way like that perfect but we've got a bit of a dark mask on top of here because of the background in this module here so let's go to our background now with content and we'll do the same thing we'll go hover over the dark writing here hit the little arrow when we're not hovering over it on desktop I want it to be absolutely clear so I'm going to make that transparent when we are hovering over it and the buttons on top of it I want to be able to read that button so let's darken that down a bit not quite as much as that perhaps but to wherever you want now the time it takes to get from desktop state to hover state by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick if you want yours that quick you can stop right here if you want to slow it down or even speed it up go over to your advanced tab down to transitions here's transition duration there's the default 300 you can slow it up down by pulling it to the right or speed it up by pulling it to the left let's make ours about three quarters of a second a second something like that don't want any delay transition speed curves fine on ease ease in ease out is usually my preferred for these sort of things they're all slightly different some will work better than others in search certain situations so check them out I'm going to leave mine on ease in ease out okay and we should be good to go now as with most hover effects this is going to work great on desktop but for mobile and tablet they're not going to really know to tap it so you might want to do separate versions for mobile and tablet and to do that just simply click on the row or even the section two little squares there you can duplicate it then you can change it around to just have the button there perhaps for the tablet and mobile and when you're happy just go into the row itself go over to advanced and visibility and you can disable this one on desktop so we just see this one on tablet and phone with the button already in it perhaps and you can go into the top one 
and disable it on phone and tablet so we just see it on desktop. That's if you just want to use your visibility for doing different setups for phone and tablet, which is a good idea. Let's get rid of this. Don't really need this row anymore. It was just a little demo for you how to fix it on tablet and mobile. Let's save what we've got here and see what we've got on the front end. And exit the visual builder. There we are, there's our two little images. There's the one we've just done on the right there when I hover over. The button's going to slide in, it's going to darken down. You can hover on the button, click on it obviously, and take your people where you want to take them. When you're done, take your mouse off, it's going to disappear back out there. And we've slowed that down to about three quarters of a second, I think 800 milliseconds. And this one I think is about a second. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. Great thing about these hover effects if somebody on desktops mousing around your site and this sort of thing happens, it's going to get their attention quickly, which is what you want in a website. So there you go guys. Here's an image to slide in button effect for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.